6.3. Um, now, you'll notice that the notation is a little weird on this particular document. When I print them myself, I change the notation because I don't like the way this is written. Um, like, well, yeah, like number seven, you know, like you, we haven't seen that and I wouldn't, I'm not going to give anything like that to you. Although we did talk about it. This is just G composed with H. You've seen it like that. Okay. So quickly, let's do, okay. You should be on this one that says function operations. I'm going to start with number five. It says G of three minus H of three. All that means is you're finding the value of G of three meaning go to the function g, which is 2x minus 5, and put a 3 in for x. So that's 2 times 3 minus 5. You can do that in your head. That's 6 minus 5, which is 1. So what I'm going to do is come down here, and I'm going to put a 1 instead of the g of 3. I'm just replacing it. Minus h of 3 means go to your h function, 4x plus 5, and replace the x with a 3. So I have 4 times 3 plus 5. Again, you should do this in your head. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. Replace that down here. And 1 minus 17 is negative 16. Piece of cake. Let's do one that's a little trickier. Look at... These are kind of jumbled. Let's do number 8, though. I'm going to show, show you a slightly different way of doing this that I like better. I'm on number 8. 8, 8, 8. Okay. I'm going to start, this is g of f of 2. What I'm going to do first is find out what f of 2 is, the value of f of 2. Meaning, I'm going to go to my f function, and I'm going to put a 2 in for the n. So I have 2 times 2 squared plus 5. Remember your order of operation says to do the exponent first. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5 is 13. Hold that in your head. We're, we're down here again. G of f of 2. Well, we just figured out that the value of f of 2 is 13. So instead of looking for g of f of 2, I'm really looking for g of 13 now. So I can go back to my g function, 3n plus 2, and put an n in, I'm sorry, put 13 in, 4 in. 3 times 13 is 39, plus 2 is 41. And that's your final answer. Let's try, let's see. Oh, actually, I was wrong earlier. I said something about number 7 being a composition. That was a multiplication. This is a composition. Do you see the difference? Okay, so let's look at, okay, so like number 20, for example, when you see it on the test, it will say g of t plus f of t. It will not say g plus f of t. It means the same thing. It just means combine like terms. So for example, this one, it just means you're adding the g function to the t function. I mean the h, f, ugh. If I could cut and re redo all this, I would. Okay, you're taking the g function, t2, uh, <laughs> ah, the g function is 2t plus 5, and you're adding the f function, which is negative t squared plus 5. Combine like terms, I only have one t squared, and I only have one t, but I have two 5s, which, when I add them, gives me 10. That's it. Now, let's, I'm trying to find a good composition function and it looks like I'm just going to have to use this. So right here, number 18, g of h of n. We're going we're gonna to do that. So scratch that, write g of h of n. So you start with your outside function, which is the g function, 2n plus 3. So 2n plus 3, but you replace the n. So notice that there's still a 2 and there's still a plus 3 but I don't have an n anymore. In its place, you put the h of n function. This whole thing replaces n. So here, n minus 1 is my h function. That's what's going to go in the blank right here. 
you simply distribute and simplify. So I have 2n minus 2 and then plus 3. Just combine negative 2 plus 3 and you get plus 1. Final answer. Let's do one more. And then I gotta cut this one. Okay, so this is f of g of n. Take your f function, which is 2 times n, but replace the n. You see how I've just left a blank where the n was? And in its place, I'm putting the other function g of n. So in the place, I mean in its place, I put negative n plus minus 4. I am stumbling like crazy. Distribute, and you get negative 2n minus 8. Final answer. All right, the only other thing you might see is like number 19, h of g of x, my h function is squared minus 2, like that. 4x plus 1 squared, which is 4x plus 1, the whole thing squared, quantity squared, which means you have to do FOIL. <gasps> I'm going to cut this short because I'm running out of time. Oopsie, I left off my squared, minus 2. So your final answer for this one, 16x squared plus 8x minus 1, 6.2, or sorry, that was 6.3, done.